I think you should do a romance twist sort of thing, Colette. That could work. I did like the horror idea, though. I mean, you should do, like a Nicholas Sparks style, it's love and tragedy. I think that's too cliche. Do you have any better ideas, Henry? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> then be quiet. What are you gonna do your story? I was actually thinking a thriller, a horror, something psychological even. Oh, really? Why do you want to do that? Is that why you taught me out of it? What? No, I always had this idea. It's just something, something I like to write about. Whatever, Hannah. You always think you're better than the rest of us. What? I never said that. Oh, look. It's, uh, time to go to that book signing guy. Yeah, we should probably go, you know, not wait in line forever. that he might give me a movie deal. What? You've got to be kidding me. I think that's great, Hannah. Let's see, I thought you'd like it. Thanks, but it's not definite yet. Yeah, we understand. Yeah, totally understand. Thanks, guys. This is bullshit. Okay, so we gotta go for actually the guys, come on. I can't believe we just met Richard Benedict. I know, he is seriously amazing. He's probably my favorite author ever. How cool would it be if we got a book published and we became as famous as him? Oh man, you know, if only we could do like a, like a book tour with him yeah. or something. Let's be realistic here, guys. Why? Because none of us will ever be as famous as Richard Benedict. You know, a little positivity never hurt anyone, call it. Whatever. You guys think what you want. I'm just being realistic. Whatever. What did he say? Who? You know, Richard Benedict, the guy who was holding up the line for five minutes talking to you? Yeah, more like ten. Oh, nothing, we just talked. Sure liked you. We just talked, Henry. Writer to writer, he asked about my book. No big deal. Richard Benedict, no big deal? No big deal? He gave him your phone number. Listen, this guy reads more books in a week than I read in my entire life. Why would he bother to call me? Hello? Richard? Oh, hi, Richard. Unbelievable. Coffee? Oh, God. I really appreciate the offer, but no, this isn't a good time. Can I call you later? Okay, bye. Amazing. This isn't fair. This just isn't fair. What? First, you get an agent, then sell your book, and then the big movie deal? Please, just don't. This isn't fair. This just isn't fair. And now Richard Benedict wants to have coffee with you? And this is only happening to you? I don't know. A creative crumb for all of us to nibble on? I don't know what you're suggesting, Colette. You know how hard I work. How devoted I am. And I always support you in all of your writing. You wouldn't introduce me to your agent. Ryan didn't want to meet you. I asked. Hannah has earned her success. The only reason why Brian didn't want to meet me was because you told him I wouldn't bring anything to the table. You're crazy, Colette. Hannah would do that. It's not to me. Oh, shut up, Alan. You, you know, you don't get special treatment because you two are together. In fact, I heard Brian on the phone with Hannah last week saying that we were all has been to. I never said that. Well, you might as well have, Hannah. You undersold all of us, and you know it. I don't need to take any of this bullshit. You didn't have to do that, Henry. Well, Colette wasn't going to say it. I appreciate you standing up for me, but next time, don't. I can take care of myself. Whatever, I'm going home. Um, 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was not it's even okay. watching. I often lose focus and find myself wandering. You're Richard Benedict. I am. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw you earlier today. Richard Benedict remembers me? I do. You were with another girl. Hannah, correct? Of course, this is about Hannah. No, 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 no. I actually want to talk to you. You see, Hannah mentioned some of the great ideas her friends had. What's your name? What? Hannah said that? My... Oh, my name's Colette. Colette Richard. I know who you are, Mr. Benedict. I'm a huge fan. I've read everything you... Come with like... me. You know, I want to talk to you about some of the ideas you had. You see, I can help you. You can't be serious. I would love to hear all about it. Hello? Hello there, beautiful. Who is this? <laughs> you mean you don't recognize my voice? Oh, Richard! Oh, what a coincidence! I was just thinking about you. Oh, Richard, you're quite a charmer. I hope you weren't expecting anything different. Well, that certainly... The reason I called is I want to talk to you about your book. Do you have a minute? Of course! Well, I definitely think it has mass appeal. I could see every Target from here to Brooklyn selling it at the front of their stores. Well, I was thinking more Barnes & Noble material, honestly. Listen, Colette, uh, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The market for horror romance right now is completely saturated to where there's just no more room. That's not to say that uh, people won't buy it. I mean, I think the premise alone will be enough to make up for the profit margins. I mean, those aren't exactly my target, ain't my book aims for. Listen, do you want to sell books or not? No, I do, I do. Okay, good. Why don't we get together and talk about it? No, I, I, I understand. Um, I appreciate it. So, how do we go about this? I got a favor to ask you, too. Okay, shoot. So then the doctor says, it's because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy you invited me out. Well, you know, I like to reach out to the masses and... Help the common man. I really think this book has potential. Well... Maybe not Pulitzer material, but maybe bestseller list? Agreed. That's why I'm here with you now. That, and of course you're beautiful. I'm just... Speechless? Yeah. I often have that effect on people. There is, of course, one condition. Your friend, Hannah. What about her? She writes beautifully. It's gentle, genuine. Her word flow and structure remind me of a young Michael Chabon. I see. She's the poet and I'm the ditz that likes to write about vampires. Werewolves. Whatever. I see you judging me. Listen. Listen. You're the first girl that I've taken on a date in the last five years. This is a date? You know, I learned a long time ago that the secret to true happiness in life is knowing exactly what you want and taking it. And what I want is you and Hannah's writing. Hannah wouldn't do it. She has way too much Listen, pride. You don't get ahead in this field by being nice. Yeah, but... I'm not Steinbeck, okay? I'm not Hemingway, I'm not Dr. Seuss. I'm a wolf, and so are you. So are you in, or do you want to stay on the outside your whole life? Hey! Hey, What? what's up? I just brought you back your manuscript. It was good, just gotta tighten up a few chapters. Thanks, you read it all? Of course. I didn't have to do that. What else are friends for? Wait, I didn't mean to insult you by telling you how to write. I'm sorry, I really like your material. I just- I don't take it to heart. You're like a sister to me. 
sometimes I feel like I don't matter anymore. This whole writing path was because I thought I was different, unique. And I just don't believe that anymore. And now I'm going to be this bitter woman who's jealous of anyone who ever get a shot of success. You'll get your shot. It just takes time. At this rate, I'm never going to be a great writer. i have never become anyone. You don't have to be anyone to anyone else. Not to even to Richard Benedict. That guy cuts his candy bar with a fork and a knife. I'm sorry, Hannah. For what? I'm just sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. I thought you said Alan and Henry were going to be here. Where are they? Oh, they're in the garage. The garage? Mm-hmm. You did all this because some asshole is going to give you a book deal? Are you serious, Colette? You can't seriously think you're going to get away with this. <sighs> Kidnapping us? You guys don't understand. I need my book published. I'm so goddamn tired of being the one left behind. Left behind? Henry are the same exact boat as you, Colette. Yeah, you don't see us kidnapping our friends and giving them a concussion with a fucking bat. What's going on? Hannah, are you okay? Look who decided to wake up. Why are Alan and Henry tied up? Why am I tied up? What's going on, Colette? I'm sorry, but I had to. There's no way you agree to this. Agree to what? She wants you to sign over the rights to your book to, to Richard Benedict. Richard Benedict wants my work? Don't do it, Hannah. Screw him. Shut up, Alan. That's right, Hannah. You're such a good writer, even the pros want your work. Are you happy now, knowing you're such a big shot? Well, not anymore. This time, I'm going to be the one who gets it. The shot. What's wrong with you, Colette? Is this how you want your book to be published? By betraying your friends? What happened to writing just to write? It's easy to say when everything worked out for you, Hannah. Ever since freshman year, everything has just worked out for you. I had a struggle to even keep up with you. I'm going to take whatever chance I can to finally get ahead for once. This is the contract that relinquished all rights of your book to Richard Benedict. Sign it and it'll all be over. I'm not signing that. Sign the damn paper. <laughs> Well, now you've done it, Colette. You killed Alan because of your own selfish delusions. This is all my fault. I should have just signed the damn paper. Hello? Hello, Colette. How are things? Has Hannah given you over the rights yet? Richard, I... I... What's wrong? What happened? I shot Alan. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Whoa, uh, I had nothing to do with this, okay? Richard, no, no, please, don't, don't leave me like this. Colette, I was never going to promote your book. Don't leave me like this!